So, hello everyone, I'm on here with my review of Car Cure episode 24, right? No new opening, I think it's coming next week. Um, so, yeah, so the episode are about Palpatone. Palpatone? 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 Whatever his name is, right? One of the, of course, classic bad guys, one of the four ultimate automata and Francine, right? And his redemption story and so on. I think that was pretty good, yeah, I liked it good. And of course, the whole. Anna Sheena, you know, talking to him, kind of like making him the Praedom and the Frasine mode. All of that, of course, was building up to this main event. Yes, the Orson died last week, but I think mainly his betrayal, right? Because it's also probably going to mean, as I said a few weeks ago, that obviously the other puppets, so the Automata, are also going to probably betray uh, Faces right and join Francine, right? And saving her and so on. Because they're obviously going to follow her. They need to do whatever she wants them to do, right? So why would you not kill Faces of her? Whatever. Um, all of that was great. I loved it. I loved it actually when he's like fighting for them, right? Saving, <laughs> yeah. When he's like coming in there, saving um, guy, and then of course Narumi appears, kicks them away, right? And then there's a whole like the splash screen, and it, all of that was was good. Yeah, all of that was great. But um, there still remains a general issue though. That took like three episodes to do this, and it really is like we have to master in the last minute. They're like. It's time for the young boy, <laughs> like the main character that they have been ignoring for like 20 episodes since the anime began. In the beginning it was like, here is Master, he's the main character. And then I was about him, right? Him meeting Shirugan and Narumi. Then they do this, like him and Shirugan doing the circus thing and school thing. They skipped over, I think, the whole school arc apparently, but there's something there, right? And then I used into Narumi fighting, learning about the Shirugana. And then the enemies went crazy at that moment, right? At the moment where Shirugana got impaled by the Wano knives, and she didn't die from that, she was like, oh, I can heal all my wounds. At that moment, it was like, wait a minute, they're not humans. <laughs> at that moment, it just, yeah, it took off, right? And even more so, cool, and the, the backs to flashback. But I like both flashbacks, though. But, like, what happened to my master, right? He wasn't different at anything. So, it's still the exact same issue I feel generally, like last week and two weeks ago, especially two weeks ago, that it's way too much focus though, right, on these other characters again, where the anime starts, it's master the main character, and that remains for like the first six or seven episodes, and also feels like Shirugami is a secondary main character, right? Narumi, I wouldn't even say so good for so he's a third main character. Or like maybe Shiegi with Shirugami, yeah, something like that. But at the moment after she gets, you know, you know, stab right, and then jump into Narumi's, it's like his Sonafia storyline, yeah, that he became the main character, guess what? And Master Lu was gone with. And also, one thing I don't like is the generally, maybe the general storyline quite, quite now, is that Shirugana, she had the whole flashback, right? How about she was born, becoming Francine, all of that. That was great, that was a good flashback, flashback. and all of that. So that makes sense, like, it's, it's a good flashback. But. It's like, before that, she had no screen time at all, right? Since she fought Wanda, episode 7, I think it is, right? And then episode like 17, 18 or so, right? Had the flashback and so on. And then after the flashback, episode 20, 19 or something like that, it's a little, little, little Masaru before the flashback, and a little Masaru afterwards. And then it's the disappointed characters, and then it's Naruma, right? So that's kind of what I mean, right? Obviously, I'm joking, but that's kind of what I mean, right? It's frustrating me because it's like, God damn it, we're focusing so much on other characters. Sure, this guy is betraying Francis now for her sake, and that's a great moment. Actually, again, I like that moment a lot, right? But at the same time, his master, Francine, that the main, the female main character, she hasn't had like a voice line almost since like episode like six or seven, so right there. Yeah. Almost to end deaths as well, right? And that is so weird because they have a flashback about her life, her being born and so on. So I guess they kind of count for her then. But we have not seen her reflex reflecting over anything. And I hate that. We're seeing her telling Papa Dante, do not, you know, kill a human anymore. She's like, oh, I can't, you know, go against her word. But we don't see her reflecting over it anymore. I think it'll be, the episode lacks that for me, right? It lacks that he is now, you know, like a good person, right? A good person, but see what I mean? But it's no reflection from her side. You know, oh, I wonder if he's gonna follow me. You're like her. I think the episode would be much better if uh, this is happening. We also could see something what she's doing with the other two, right? Maybe trying to convince them, you know, to be good. And they're like, oh, but Lady Francine, we're gonna kill humans because of reasons and so on. And then we see Palpatine, he's doing, you know, 
Peppa's not having his yeah. Peppa's in yeah. He is doing the good stuff, right? He's learning her, 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 you know, agenda, her, her mission, right? And so whatever, right? I think it just kind of lacks that. Not only lacks nothing from her generally for Shirogane and Lenor, but also he had them. We see her for like a very, very short moment when she tells him, don't kill humans anymore, or else I hate you. Yeah, that's the only last she said for like 20 episodes. And one scene where she was like, Masaru, <laughs> something like that, yeah, and nothing else. And it's like, what? And the same with Masaru as well, right? So the, the episode has that issue where it's like, it's focusing on this guy now. Last episode focused on Ashihana and George. Before that, you know, Nisha, uh, Shinmei, and that was even, it was really pointless. That was very pointless. But now we're focusing on, I guess, the traitor at Mata. So the most important, I would say, characterization of focus. So it's good in that sense, but it still is like surrounded, but it's like, this feels like I'm reading, you know, one one episode is like one chapter, right? Where all the other episodes, have, or let's, let's treat them, are like, you know, at least 10 episodes, 10 chapters per episode, right? not like one suddenly, and it's about the at the Mata guy. And so it still has the same general contextual issue where I'm like, I like the storyline. As the last thing in a, in a vacuum is a good thing, right? Without anything around it, it's a good story character, uh, character development episode. But but again, I said about the, yeah, it's like, but the build up for it is just so lacking. And like her, his master, right? That she hasn't had any kind of storyline so far in, you know, in so long, right? In the present time. Right? She's thinking how she written what is. How she felt seeing them and so on. How how she, she hates the Mata, but she says she's a Shirogane. Can she talk to them? And like you know, I think it would be so much better if we had moments with her talking to the other two left with her, right, and trying to like learn, understand what's happening, who Fetus is, and why all this. Because she is, you know, not really into the whole, you know, it's the two different as the Mata fashion and so on. Yeah, so this is a massive, massive mi mistake there. I feel it's it's hard to grasp where it's going, right. So that, that, that's what the anime is so weird, I feel. It's like, they have, you know, blazed through the manga, right? And suddenly, they're slowing down, like, incredibly slowing down. And it's just like, focusing on all the supportive characters. This episode made the most sense, though, because focusing on the traitor of them. It's a bad guy. So it's like, yeah, okay, he's a traitor now. So obviously, that is like a massive character development range. So it, it makes sense that that's fair, but it has the, the underlying tone of, like, it doesn't fit into the storyline. It doesn't fit into, like, the premise of the anime. You know how you should do it because even though I liked it, so that sounds great. I still think, like, for taking the first half of it, where it's just Narumi and Nia Shan, and she's you know, she lost it because this is like they are fighting. That felt like that was pretty good, but it also felt you know, that could have been skipped pretty much, right? They pretty much could have one shot, she, she could have been cut open, and then he could have pretty much one punched that guy, and then it would have been pretty much the same episode, yeah. Like, I don't really care, he's like, I have my friendship, yeah. It's like, I don't really need that. I, I want more of the characters, actually, than other characters. <laughs> See what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't feel I care that much about him beating um, the, the machines, I feel. Like, she obviously got injured. That's big. But otherwise, she still is healed, too. Yeah, I love that scene, though. When he's, like, he's banding up her arms. Like, I want to have her arm. Ah, it works fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's, she heals. Yeah, she probably, she probably regrow your arm. It's no problem. Yeah, like, uh, that, that was pretty fun. But I do feel, actually... Some people probably disagree, but sometimes the battles are way too short, right? But here I feel, and this is a means and general problem, I feel, some battles have been very, very short. Where they felt that this probably should be a longer battle in the manga, right? It's a very short, very off, awkwardly short, yeah. You can skip over some battles. Here again, I feel like they probably can skip over the room's battle. I don't care about it that much. He's just, he, I mean, the battle wasn't that good in my opinion. I actually liked his, like, this flying thing with him, that's pretty funny. But the really guy he just beats, right? And then the sword guy, the flying sword guy, he's like, you know, he has some problems. And that's why I think, like, whatever, I'm just gonna, like, punch! And it's like, I have my friendship, this is my arm, this is my left, this is my other, yeah, you know, this guy is this knee, this guy is this knee, and, you know, like, he just, like, uh, you know, I am carrying on my friendship, woohoo! And the guy keeps calling him human, even though he's, like, a cyborg Shirogane, so he's not as much of a human at all, but, yeah, it's like, that battle... Still, in my opinion, felt underwhelming. I don't think it was a good battle because it, I guess, it gave me that typical fairy tale like friendship. That's the only thing that makes him strong, right? But we have the question: Why couldn't you start with that? Because I, I don't know. I don't feel like Narumi became better at the fight, right? He was just like, whatever. I'm tired now. Let me use my, you know, cyborg abilities after she was injured, and like ten minutes later, <laughs> it's like, why did you just beat him? And then recap the whole Ashihana and Papanate. It was important. 
but also not really, because that was the last episode. So I think just like that's like two, three minutes of recap there. It didn't make any sense. I mean, okay, it's important now for his character development, but we just saw that. It did happen like 10 episodes ago, it happened last episode, right? They're basically recapping the last episode, in the middle of the episode, right? It's completely necessary. I mean, I'm sure that could have been like one minute maximum, shorter, like 10 seconds. A film like, oh, you should, you missed purpose. No, I didn't. Then you could have ended that instead of like showing more of it. Yeah, so I don't know. I feel like I liked the, I liked the last five or ten minutes. They were really good. I liked the train, the clown train. That was funny. Four a clown, living clown train. Train of course. I liked all of that, but I felt the battle was pointless. Really was. It's very good in here. And, um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird in that sense of anime. It's really weird. I think it comes from mainly again, right? That's. I'm still angry that they completely ignored uh, both Eleanor and Masaru. And especially I think this episode again though, as I mentioned earlier, that it's about the guy betraying them, or uh, betraying the good, uh, bad guys for the good guys, for her sake. But her, as in Eleanor, Francine slash Shirgana, the three damn character, she hasn't, um, she hasn't seen anything from her right, for like since episode 7 I think. And that is really, really weird. And he's like, I love her, so I have to trade for her. And of course we understand it. We understand it. We understand why. But I again though, if you had more of her talking to the other guys, or more or more of them interacting with someone beforehand, I think. Or at least her with the other guys, or like the general automatic, it would be so much better. And one thing I realized too, the episode I watched it with Master was flying towards everything. I was like, man, this anime would be way better if they actually introduced more of the bad guys. Also, for that matter, I mean, yes, some of them are like, look at my bad guys team, and he was like, I am this guy, and the other one appears, like, ha ha ha, I'm so strong, yeah, and they could, they could do that, right? yeah, yeah, but, but here I feel, this anime has nothing against that, right, it's to the reverse of that, and sometimes it works in its failure, because they, they are so crazy looking, so it's like, oh, look at that guy, it's like a living team, oh, that's fun. they're so crazy, so it kind of works, but some more of the time, it's weird, because, We've had this moment with the Zeppelin, or we were saying inside of it earlier, and he has like, this white devil guy, right? It's like a very like albino kind of looking guy. We have, you know, some of the female characters. We have like, a bunch of like different automatic characters. We have the Cupid one and so on, right? So several of them, they all have named like powerful ones, but none of them are introduced. The guys walk around and talk to each other in the back, and like, we're supposed to know who they are, right? So it's, it feels weird. Like, I, I want that inter, you know, here's the intro on the bad guys, yeah, because. When we fight the greedy guy and the sword guy, I think it takes away from it. Yeah, they look kind of crazy and they're kind of funny, but they use like new random enemies. And, 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 and the anime has like those guys every episode. Like, here's a new random enemy. Oh, here's this guy that you're fighting. He's like an um, anti evil Shirigana guy. Like, yeah, it's like every episode is a new bad guy, right? Like a new bad guy to fight, right? Which zero, like, in a way, usually they have like zero personality. They all have the same personality. <laughs> yeah. So I, mean, so I don't know, Mask of Flying Indies now, I don't expect it to be like 10 guys with the same personality. Oh, I don't know, most anime is so weird. Anyway, hope that the video, you guys take on it. I liked the pepper, same as last week, I, feel, I liked it generally, but if it just doesn't fit right. The pacing is horrible too, because the pacing has been so fast until the now, and super slow is that, and the pacing is slow on these characters, instead of the main characters, uh, I guess not even, but the other two main characters, it's weird, especially as this betrayal is connected to one of the other main characters, and she is completely ignored by the anime. Except for flashback, but not like the current one. Whatever, you said the mean hot fight in the Anyway, see you guys tomorrow with some new animes. Have a good guys, and I'll see you all in the second row on Twitch. Very soon.